All right, welcome everybody. Just getting everything set up here. Just give me one quick minute. Making sure we got connection and everything. YouTube says we have connection, so that's a good sign. My mic should be coming through, so everybody should be able to hear me. Let's give it a second here. Take a little sip of water. Alright, yeah, looks like we have connection and everything. Looks like we're all set up. Should be good. All right, uh, hello and welcome everybody uh, to a fun live stream I have planned. So this is going to be, I don't know how long this live stream is going to be. I don't know how long it's going to be going on for, but it's basically just going to be a um, a cozy Saturday afternoon or night or morning, whatever time it is for you. Uh, cozy Saturday gaming time. And uh, I know we're going to we're going to at least play one game and that's this game. I need space. And hopefully, depending on how it goes, depending on how I'm feeling and everything, we might move on to some other games. I have a few other games planned. Just kind of some short indie games I think would be really fun to uh, just hang out, have some fun, and, uh, and play. So, for the first one that I have planned, I Need Space. This is a game that came out about a year ago, and I played it like 30 minutes after it launched. It's just a demo, so it's not the full release yet. Um, but it is probably one of my favorite indie games out there. It's a shorter experience, um, but basically it's you're a little astronaut dude who has to explore this little mini galaxy with a little cat. And it is one of the cutest games I think I've ever played. It's one of my favorites. There has been quite a few updates since I last played, um, which is which is cool. So we're going to see what has changed. Again, it's, not, it's just a demo. It's not the full game, unfortunately. I'm hoping they'll make it a full game at some point. But, uh, hopefully it's not too loud and you can hear everything. So, yeah. So, like I said, I have played this before. Super fun game. And we're just going to kind of take our time getting through it, have some fun. And, uh, just, and then, you know, see how long it takes. And if, if it's pretty quick, we'll move on to some other games that might be fun. All right. Uh, not that. I guess we'll just, we'll just jump right in into playing it, I guess, then. Oh, let me see. There we go. Start demo. Let's freaking go. Name of player. Star Kid. Um, what should his name be? What, what, sh what should we name this little dude? Uh, how about Moon Boy? Let's go with Moon Boy. Hey, Grand. Welcome back to the stream. How you doing? This game, it blew me away the first time I played it because I just found it on itch. I was sc scrolling itch, and it just popped up as a new release. Look, I mean, look how look how freaking cute this is. But yeah, it just it just popped up on on itch at one point when I was when I was searching games like last year. I didn't think it was going to be anything too big, but it ended up being like one of the cutest experiences that I've ever I've ever had in a game. It's just such a cute thing. Mama, ma mama, uh, what's that sound? Use telescope to find and pin the source of the sound. Alright. Press backspace to continue. Check journal for more details. I mean, look at this little dude. How cute is this? Look at it. I got my little, my little spaceship has crashed into this planet. Ooh, a dead calcified star that looks like a cosmic flavored cookie. It rocks. Interesting. Good day whenever David streams. Oh, thank you. Edge, welcome to the stream, man. Or whoever you are. Um, Alright. So... Wait, this just... Okay, so this just tells us the controls. Okay. I mean, look at my little dude. Look at how cute he is. Yeah, see, something's crying out mama. See, that's new. The first time I played it, it wasn't mama. So, uh... Let's see. Uh, you can pin certain spots while using the telescope to observe space. This pin will show up as a waypoint to guide you when traveling with pod. Press space to pin, and then delete to delete any existing pins. Okay. Is that... Oh, that's not my planet. We just saw a shooting star going by. So is this where the mama's coming from? Oh, it's my mouth! I think it's my mouth. 
I'm saying mama. I can't hear it super loud. I'm gonna turn up my volume a little bit. Yeah, it's my meow. I already knew, spoiler, I already knew it's a cat. There we go. All right, uh, uh how do we boost? All right, hold on. Ooh, use telescope to find and pin the space. Did I, I think I, I think I just reset pin. Okay, yeah, so, so shift or uh, space just puts the pin. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now we now we have a pin there. Free on Epic Games someday. It's always those cute small games. Yeah, this game. I I think it's I think it's free on itch. Um. It's just it's a super chill, just super cute game. All right. Uh, prepare travel essentials by bringing back resources to the cockpit. See, oxygen generating plant and an oxygen tank. Cause in space. You can't breathe super well, so we need to be able to bring back... We need to be able to breathe. <laughs> Spiral Sprout. A swirling plant growing on a living planet that gives out cons constant oxygen supply throughout the night and day. Oh. Well, then that's what we were looking for. There we go. Now we just need an oxygen tank. We could go down the well. Can I pick more of these? I can. Oh, do I need multiple? Three of one. No, I only need one. Hey, Zealus, welcome, welcome to the stream. This is a game called, uh... This is a game, if you're asking what that is, this is a game called I Need Space. It's a little indie game. Very, very cute game. Probably my fa favorite indie game. Hey, Dark Magic, welcome to the stream, nerd. Alright, so I got eight of one oxygen plants. I'm gonna be breathing. If you just, like, I feel like if you just take the plant and you just, like, you'll breathe amazingly, so. Dark Solace? Ooh, my oxygen tank. Alright, container, an old oxygen tank that hasn't been used in ages, kind of dusty. Hopefully I clean it so I don't breathe in the dust. Okay, I remember that from when I first played the game like a year ago. He taps the little tank. It's so freaking cute. Alright, so I only have one plant in there, or did I stuff all eight of them? Alright, I kind of want to go down. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. In case anybody's wondering, I had to name him. His name is Moon Boy. Oh, I need space as a part of the game. I thought it was just part of the stream title. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did that so that people would be like, Wait, what? Does he need space? No, I'm good. I'm here having fun. I want to talk with people. A handy toolbox for fixing purposes. Okay. I guess we'll go back up. But yeah, no, the name of the game is I Need Space. You're gonna be semi-lurking while spreading democracy. Have fun. Alright, let's, uh, let's get back to my ship. Can I sit in it? I thought I had to get, uh, I thought... Can I not grab that toolbox? I tried to grab it. Check, uh, tab, journal for more things. Hey, Potterhead, welcome to the- welcome to the stream. Um, I am playing a small indie game called I Need Space right now. It's one of my favorite little indie games. It's just a demo, but it came out, I think, like a year ago. Reservoir Cogs, that's a good pun name. Ghost Runners. Yeah, Ghost Runners would be fun. I feel like I've heard of that. I don't know if I've played it. I mean, I know I haven't played it, but I don't know if I know exactly what that is. It'd be fun to try. Can I go down here? Oh, can you change? Come on, I thought they- I thought they added- YES! Okay, when I first played it, when I first played it, it they didn't have uh, character customization, but now they do. YES! Oh, I'm so happy about that. Alright, let's see. Uh, the, the little round head looks pretty cute. If my name's Moon Boy, it's got a kind of- Oh, interesting, alright. Um, we gotta go with that, because he looks like a little moon boy. Hmm. Honestly, the classic look is cute. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with Squinty's body. Is that Squinty? Squinty's head? I think moon boy's got a little bit of drip in what he does. Alright, and then, can I, what is this? 
odds engine, it works fine. Okay, cool. Uh, can I go up? There we go. I guess, uh, can I take- I wish I could take a sip of my little coffee. Flight manual. Okay, here we go. Enter cock, uh, pit seat. Hold space to whatever launch pod. Press space to land the pod. Alright. Boost the pod while it's flying. Okay. Let's see, uh... Body kind of looks like Sam people in Star Wars. Yeah, I guess it does. Welcome to the stream, Jaboba. Okay, we tried to fly away. Look for tools to fix- okay. Yeah, now we got- oh, look at my little light bulb's broken. Hold on. See my little light bulb? Oh, it's a, uh, what are those called? Record player? What is the trumpet called on a, on a record player? Isn't that like a- I'm gonna say something very incorrect, but isn't it like a stylophone or something like that? Or a stegophone? Stegosaurus? The- the trumpet thing that's on the head of a record player. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, we got tools. A handy dandy item for all fixing purposes. Cool! I actually don't think I need the mouse, I'm just realizing that. It's all played on keyboard. Alright, hold space and shift to use. My jetpack. Jetpack can be used to reach high places or boost your movement speed in space. Ooh! Gramophone or something like that. Okay, it's called the trumpet. Yeah, okay, so I was kind of right. Uh. Respond in DC. Oh, in Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going to be on Discord for, for a few minutes. Oh, there we go. Now I got my little jetpack. Am I using oxygen when I, when I... Oh, I am using oxygen. All right, let me see, uh... Can I just go into space? I can, but I'm going to use up all my actions, so that's probably not a good idea. There we go. Alright, I'm going to go back down. Let's fix the, uh, fix the pod? Yes. Oh, it uses up my toolbox. Okay, so now I don't have toolbox. Well, now we should be able to fly away, except my light bulb's still broken. Alright, let's see. Stegosaurus is what you ride in Ark. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you guys are good. You guys can chat. Go for it. All right. Now we're flying. Yes. There we go. Fly the pod to the moon. Okay, so the little arrow is pointing where I have to go. Hold space to boost the pod's movement. Oh, it does. Yeah. This is such a cool mechanic, though. Like, I mean... Such a great idea for a, for a 2D game. I love it so much. There you go, now we're landing. If, I don't know if anyone has played uh, Outer Wilds, but this has a very, very close resemblance to Outer Wilds. It's like a 2D version of Outer Wilds. Another really great, great uh, indie game. In No Man's Sky, if you jetpack into space, die because of stellar radiation. <laughs> hey, No Man's Sky is a fun game though. I haven't played that in a while. Little Night Moon. Oh, my oxygen level is going down. Yep. Your oxygen will deplete over time when you're in areas without oxygen. Returning to your pod or home planet will refresh your oxygen. Okay. Using the jetpack depletes more oxygen. Use it wisely. Got it. Yep. Saw that. So let's uh go back into my ship and kind of fill up. I've played, if if you're asking me, I have played Outer Wilds. Obvi I mean, obviously I'm talking about it, so. Here's the little kitty. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Fly me to the moon. It's, uh, back to the real. Oh, he's running away. Wild Cosme- Cosmo Cat- Cos- Cosme Cat? Appears. Follow the way to capture the critter. This little cat is so cute. Oh, I love the music, too. It's so adorable. Wait, he's going in my ship. Hold on. Here, maybe if I can trick him out and go this way. 
Let's see. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> the music is so cute. Alright, I kind of know what to do here. Like I said, I have played it before. I don't want to speed run through the game, but I think I can actually trap him. Yeah, if I push it. Yep. There we go. Yeah, so I think I can trap him now if I go this way. What happens if you run out of oxygen? Oh, well, I almost died there. I almost died there. Ghost Runners is free on Epic Games right now. Ooh, I'm going to check that out then. Oh, I think I got him now. Oh, I got a little cat toy for him. Craving for adventure. Nom nom. <laughs> Find something cosmical to feed the cosmic cat. Okay. Uh... I have one of those little stars, don't I? Because I, I grabbed it from my, uh... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Can I use it? How do I use it? Well, I think I already have the thing to feed the little kitty. No. Because I grabbed it from... I grabbed it from my ship already. Yeah, he wants a little star to nom nom on. Yeah, I already grabbed it from my from my spaceship. Well, let me see. Find something to feed the cat. Yeah, we have something. Let's see. Let's see if it registers now that I have it in my pocket. Cause I have it in my inventory. Add Ghost Runners to your library so you can play it later. All right. I'll have to check that out. Okay, there we go. Now I can feed him. He's so cute, though. I think he just got enlightened from eating that thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure what feeding the cat does but I, it looks like it cleans up the space if I'm if I'm remembering correctly an explosion opened a path to a new area okay yeah so it does okay so now naming the cat now unless everybody's got a really good name for the cat you gave the cat LST <laughs> yeah all right now what I named the cat in my last playthrough was Galaxia and I like that name pretty good unless somebody's got a better idea I think I'm gonna go with that Galaxia, like that. Like I said, and unless anybody's got any better idea, I'm gonna go with Galaxia, I think. I'll give you a second to say whether it's good or not. I don't think I get a chance. I don't know if you can, if you can, uh, change the cat's name after you name it. Um, but yeah, so apparently if, when you feed him a little, uh, give him a little something special, he just, like, obliterates different places of the planet. Of space, I guess. I don't have a name for the cat. I usually name caps after mine, which is... Footrack? Footrack? Oh, no. Kitty MC, cat face. I'm going with Galaxia. Those aren't good names. Galaxia is now following you. Oh, yes. It's so cute. Can I pet it just whenever I want? Oh, I can play with a little cat toy. I mean, that's just as good. That's just as good. Come on, get in! Get in, we gotta go! Alright, um... What do I have to do? Explore nearby clusters to find more rock stars. So the little kitty is hungry. He wants some more rock stars. That's what's going on. Yeah, you can call him Marshmallow. Yeah. MC is pronounced Mick. Kitty Mick cat face? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, whatever. Nerd. Okay, so we gotta find, uh, some star-shaped rocks. This thing doesn't run out of power, I don't think. My little spaceship. Little night moon. It's such a fun idea, fun concept to have, like... 
that's not a star shaped rock. So okay, so now this is like my favorite, um, my favorite mechanic of the game is that you can literally just get out whenever you want, and just go floating around into space. It's so cool. Shattered fragments of a totem. It seems to have opened a new path. Okay, that's it. Well, we gotta go back in before we die. Come on, Galaxia, let's go. Now we fly. I feel like this game just masters um, 2D exploration feeling. It's so much fun. Press E to exit the pod. Here we go. Okay, so I think there are... I can't get through this. I just got a... A vinyl drafting on the highway of trash. Almost missed it. Oh, I didn't even realize there was one in there. Oh, I can go through this. Is there a little... Oh, there's a vinyl up there, too. Hold on. Okay, we gotta get- we gotta get this vinyl. Uh, there is so much space trash, that's kinda sad. Alright. Uh, let's go here. Galaxia, are you drinking my coffee? Come on, let's go. Rusted Lake Cluster. Oh man, I can really book it. There we go. Got another vinyl. Alright, now we're back in our ship. Okay, hold on. Does, uh... I didn't see a star here. Because that's not a star, that's just a light, right? Hold on. Let's see if this is a star. No, yeah, that's just a light. Okay. Galaxia, we gotta get back to the ship! I'm running low on oxygen! There we go. I guess we'll go outside of the belt? Is this the new area it opened? Ooh, there's a vinyl. I don't think I did this on my first playthrough. I don't think I went over here. I guess I don't remember remember it. There's a lot of vinyls. It's got such like a retro feel to it. Very cool. Steampunky? Maybe. I don't really know. I'm not very well versed in steampunk. Ooh, there's a star fragment. There we go. And how far can you go out with these things? So we need to find two of these little star fragments. There we go. Whoa, 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 careful, careful, careful. There we go. Hey Steve, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday to you too. Just kind of relaxing today, playing some chill games. Alright, uh, right now I'm trying to find star fragments to feed this cat that makes him trip like crazy. I don't think I've ever been to this planet. I still need to find multiple star fragments, though. One more, at least. I can't go through this belt. Yeah, this belt of trash. I guess we can explore this planet here. Oh, this is cool. This is new. I, they didn't have this when I first played the demo. There we go. All right, come on, Galaxia, let's go. Oh, this they they have oxygen on this planet. Interesting, like robot people. Oh my, oh my, this is a pickle. What? Oh dear me, didn't see you there. You're still not looking at me, though. Hello, dear. I apologize for looking rather distressed. I'm Simone. A pianist. Pleasure to meet you and your little friend there. My little friend's name is Galaxia. And don't forget it. Sorry, I know we just met, but could you please lend me a hand, dear? You happen to see a missing gear for a piano. Pianos have gears? Okay, um, help Simone find, uh, her missing piano gear. Okay, leave it to old, uh, Galaxia and Moon Boy. He's so cute. Oh, whoa, we can, like, go underwater. Okay, hold on. Uh, we're obviously using oxygen. Did I lose Galaxia? Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they came back. Look at these dudes. 
Galaxia keeps getting lost. What are you doing, dude? You got drums? Yes, what do you want, kid? Uh... I'm in the middle of something here. Okay, uh, let's ask him. This better be important. Well, I probably shouldn't ask him a lot. Uh... Let's ask about the planet. Do I look like an astronomer to you? Go ask someone else. Now scram! Let me ask about him. I'm just an old robot wanting some peace and quiet to play my music. So scram! Oh, this dude does not want to talk. Well, if you must know, it was the year XXXX. Everything was green out there. No haze, no trash toy to rain. The memory is still fresh in my rusty hard drive like it was just yesterday when I first met Simone Miles. They were walking in a cold evening, auditioning for old band in a small rowdy bar. Wait, so these are robots. I know it's kind of obvious, but... Um... But yeah, so... They're robots. Uh, heck, I thought they were bigger and siblings at the time. Cats and dogs are two of them. But, but my oh my, when those two started playing music together, oh man, the whole place was silent, completely in a trance. Come on, dude, I don't want to keep doing this voice. There'll only be a few instances in my life up to that point where I experienced such unparalleled joy in pl playing rhythm for anyone. You just know when you know, you know? Anywho, I've been living up, living with that unparalleled joy and offstage bickering nonsense for more than XX years now. Does he not know how to say years, or is it redacted because... Lore. I don't know. What do you know? Time flies. Okay, well, he was he was nice there. He was nicer when I talked to him like that. Um, better have a good reason for breaking the flow of my improv here. Oh, uh, well, I already know about the planet. Let's ask about the cam campsite. Cozy spot to make music- to make some good music, ain't it? Me, Art, and, um, Simone over there, we're part of- of a musical group. We're spending some nights in the woods, temporarily, to find some solace, and to record our next album. Are they the guys that I'm finding the, um... Or am I finding the vinyls of theirs in the space? Is that what's going on? There used to be more of us, but I ain't sure what everyone's up to after the pandemic. Wait, is this supposed to be, like, modeled after real life a little bit? Sure hope- sure hope the kids all fine out there, you know? Are you just talking about kids in general, like people, or do you actually have kids? Does a robot have kids? Perhaps you can help reunite all of us. In the near future, in the full game. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. I got it. That was kind of funny. Nice, nice, uh, call back to real life. I like that. Okay, uh... I'm not sure where the gear is to the piano. Is it even on the planet? I wonder if it's even on the planet. Galaxia just swims super fast. Yeah, I don't even know if the- if the- if the gear is on the planet. I might have to find it off planet. That's okay. Well, we still need to find star fragments for, um, Galaxia. Galaxia's hungry, you know, you know how cats are. Alright, uh, let's go up this way then a little bit. Did we already get... We got vinyls out of that. Okay, so we already came this way. So, um, let's go this way. Yep, that's where that planet is. The musical robots. Let's go down a little bit, and then... Funny how Cat Ear eats star-shaped rocks while cat food in real life is quite small. Rocks, I wonder how if it's intended. Cat food, I... It doesn't taste as good as it smells. To me, cat food smells good. And I'm not gonna say how I know how it tastes, but, uh... It doesn't taste as good as you might think it does. Cat treats are the worst. Okay, hold on. Wait, can we... Totem. Can we... Can we examine the totem? Three star slots. Oh. It talked. Oh, hey, Carl's the name. A celestial totem. Yawn. You woke me up from a really long slumber, but I'm still feeling rather drowsy. I need more rock stars. Activated. Goes back to sleep. Okay. So that must be where the two stars that we need to get. 
Galaxia needs to. How is Galaxia um, connected to the totems? Though? That's what I want to know. Oh, we. Whoa. Okay, that's cool, though. That's really cool. The shooting, like, uh, jellyfish star things. Alright, we gotta find. We gotta find another star fragment. I think everyone's curious enough. Tried some cat rocks. <laughs> okay, at least I feel good like I'm not the only one that's done that. A silent spilled vinyl. Oh, let me check over here, make sure this, I'm not missing anything. No? Okay, well, we're running low on oxygen, so we gotta... Come on, Galaxia, we gotta get back to the ship. Get to the chopper! Let's, uh... Oh, there we go, star fragment. There we go. Star field. Well, it would make sense if a star fragment was here. And a star field. I'm still on the piano quest. Can I change that? There we go. It still wants me to help Simone find her missing gear. Well, hopefully finding the stars still works. We'll find- we'll- we'll find them. Right, we're going out on, like, the outer rim territory here, and I'm not finding anything. Oh, look at the castle in the background. That's kind of cool. This is a new planet. Not suitable for landing. Well, I just bumped into the dude's moon. Hey, don't call me moon boy for nothing. I tried even food for rodents and foxes. Don't worry, there was no poison. The one can be used to lure them into a trap or something. Fox food tasted quite better than a cat one. I have never... Yeah, I've... You beat me there. I've never tried that. I've tried cat treats, and, uh... I think that's basically it. I don't think I've tried anything else other than that. Rusted Lake. Okay, we've been to Rusted Lake. Just trying to make sure that's the robot musical. Okay, so we didn't really check the center of the galaxy a little bit as much. That's my home planet. Star Soils. Rusted Lake. Yep, we've been here. I don't know where a piano gear would be. That's the totem that was destroyed. Galaxia was that little night moon. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's a star fragment in Galaxia's place. You know what? Let's see if we can search the galaxy um, With our telescope, I mean, let's, let's use what the game gave us, you know Let's see if we can find some stars All right, so I'm gonna go in like a grid pattern. We're gonna go down We didn't land there. I mean there could be a star fragment there, I guess we can't go in there yet. Alright, hold on, let me see. I'm just gonna follow the outer rim. Go back. Up. Over. Just kinda do like a grid pattern here. We already found one star in this direction, I think. I need to put my cup holder on this side so I can easily drink my drink. That's where we are. The stars glow, so I feel like they're pretty easy to find. Those are all lights. Nope, not that. Oh, you can zoom in. Okay, cool. I wonder if we have... I, wait, I think we have... Do we not have all the stars? Do I need- a, did I need two or three? I think we might have all the stars. I might just not recognize it because we're looking for a piano gear. Huh. Let me see if I can change the objective once I'm done here. So maybe it's like stuck on the, uh, the ob objective of finding, um... Maybe I go back to the totem. Or wait, maybe I feed the cat. Yeah, that's probably what I do. Hold on. The cat. I'm sorry, Galaxia. I'm sorry. It's not just the cat. It's... It's you. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... 
There we go. Yeah, we have two. All right, let's give two. Munchy, munchy. Oh, he is tripping out big time this time. Now it's going to probably open up that area over there that we were at. Mm-hmm. Hey, for Galaxia looking like they're opening black holes, it is cleaning the areas up. It's cleaning the space up quite a bit. So Galaxia's actually doing everybody a favor, you know what I mean? Unless that's like sucking it and putting it somewhere else that it shouldn't be going, you know what I mean? Okay, so now there's a couple plants that we can go visit. Just eight. The rock star? It seems possessed. <laughs> Explore nearby clusters to find more rock stars. Investigate new area, look for more rock stars, feed to the Cosmo Cat. You good, Ga Galaxia? Come on. Come back to planet sand soil or star soil, what's it called? I don't know where to find the piano gear. Well, uh, I think you're- wait, hold on, you know what? Dark Soils, that's what it's called. Dark Soils. Okay, let's- let's go on our, uh, telescope here. And, yes, we got this planet with incoming, like, blue rays. And this planet. Let's- let's go to this planet first. Okay, so we have a waypoint set. Let's go to this planet, and then we'll, uh... There we go. And then we'll go to the new planet that we just unlocked. I'm boosting my pod movements. Oh, I gotta follow the arrow. I wasn't even paying attention. Can I land here? I'm just scraping up your planet. Sorry, dude. I found a vinyl. Didn't even meet a find a vinyl. Harvest Moon vinyl. Well, I guess the only option is to go here then. My little ship is so cool though. Such a fun, such a fun uh, concept. Okay, so I am using this is the th trash droid aisle. Okay, so I am using oxygen here. The bunker. Ooh. Wait a minute. I'm just gonna do this guy normal. Wait a minute, the rock star belongs to the universe. Although he's like super hippie sounding. Also, it hope it happens to be the object of my meditation. However, if you and, and your companion truly desire the rock star, then it seems like it's time to change the objective of my meditation. I would need a new object, one that sparks inspiration, such as the stars. There's no active totem floating above this planet. One that just woke up from its slumber. I believe your little cosmic friend there might react strongly to it. How do you know that? And then perhaps you could rewrite the stars. I would gladly hand my rock star in exchange for some inspiring cosmic relic. Okay, yes, I remember this from when I first played it. It is such a cool, such a cool thing. So you get to go to the totem. You know what? I'm not going to spoil it. You're just going to have to figure it out. Beware of trash droids. For, for such a, like a down-to-earth dude... Why is he living on a trash droid planet? <gasps> oh, I just got sniped. Okay, well, let's, uh, we won't worry about that right now. Yeah, that's where I got sniped from. Alright, um, so right here is where we need to go. Uh, Strange showed him in grave with three star slots. Phew, what a dream. I thought I exploded for reals for a second there. Uh, let's rewrite the stars. This is- this is a cool- this is a cool mechanic. I like this. I like this part in the game. Also, the music is so freaking cute. Alright, um... I just started recording somehow while streaming. Well, the stream's still up, so that's good. I pressed some button. I almost ended the stream accidentally. Okay, uh... How do I... Can't leave without drawing. Okay, um... 
tab, backspace, finish drawing, switch mode, enter draw. There we go. Okay, now I can draw. Delete, shift, undo. I'm really close. Is there a way I can zoom out? No, there isn't. Okay, what should we draw? What should I draw? What should I draw? Uh, how about... I tried it in the first game. I tried to draw Galaxia, but let's let's try to do that. Uh, let's try to draw the Galaxia again. <laughs> it's like it's struggling a bit when he barfs out those things. I think it's possible. I think it's possible to draw Galaxia. Do little legs. So there's a little front legs. there. Alright. That's little front legs. And then we'll go little tummy, because a little tummy's a little a little thick. We'll do a little back legs. Like that. And then a little booty goes up like this. Got a chunky tail, though. Chunky, chunky tail. I don't know how this is gonna look when it's all big and visible. This might be a little difficult. The tail kind of looks like a beaver tail a little bit. Alright, and then the back goes like this. In order to connect all this, this is going to be difficult. Honestly, though, that wasn't that bad. What if this actually looks like Galaxia? That would be awesome. Alright, uh, then we need eyes. One eye there. One eye there. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I mean, the tail's a little chunky, but I think it works. We gotta name it after, after Galaxia. There we go. A little chunky in the tail region, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I, I know, they're, yeah. It would not be that hard to come up with other ideas of what other people would draw. That's not what we're doing here. We're doing Galaxia. What an extraterrestrial piece. Take this mini totem with you. It's a record of it's a record of your artistic constellation. Ah, oh, sweet. I'll take that. Do we have to give the mini totem to the hippie dude? Or is he good with uh just looking at the constellation? I'm not sure. Alright. Oh, the jetpacks are so cool. Let's see what he says about this. Vastness of space may make, up, make us question our purposes and the existence of others. It reminds me of how small we are in this vast universe, but even in our smallness, we could make a difference and leave our mark. So let's meditate and reflect on our place within it. Yeah, bro. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rick, and welcome to my Zen Bunker. Give mini totem to Rick? Yeah, let's do it. Is this what he wants? This is... Such celestial artistry! Your art is truly out of this world! Thank you for the inspiration. Now I'm- yeah, now I'm really glad I didn't draw- <laughs> I only drew Galaxia. Galaxia, chill. Galaxia's going crazy over there. Such inspirational art reminds me of a certain nostalgic melody, one made by an artist I know very well, Simone, a pianist. Oh. I believe she's currently recording an album on a nearby planet, the Coral Grove. Is a planet brimming with green and purple moon crust corals. Is he gonna give me a gear? Oh, I hope he gives me a gear. Straightly east from here, you'd notice it. The only other planet. The only planet around here with water. Having both your art and Simone's song as an inspiration would alleviate my meditation session to an even higher state. The rock stars, all yours to keep. Oh, so he wants Simone's song. I see. Uh, find Simone and ask for a copy of her vinyl. Okay. Oh, um... I can feel a cozy melody coming for you. Have you talked to Simone about her recording? Come on, let's have a listen together. Oh, I gotta, I gotta give him. Do I have to give him the the thing too? Oh, thanks. They pretty actually a pretty nice drawing you made. Thanks. Galaxia learning bunny hop. Galaxia is gonna be a portal speedrunner here, pretty soon. She's got the timing down. 
Wait, so I can't take... Yeah, he wants, um... Ashford Cosmic Wisdom. Um... Tutu, the rock creatures? What is that? Have you seen the rock creatures frolicking around this planet? I've heard that they're called tutus. Once in a while, they'd come... Is it tut-tuts? Is it tut-tuts? Or tutus? They'd come to participate in my meditation session. What's interesting is their dedication to follow through with it. Being completely one with the planet without words. Such sentimental creatures. Interesting. Sentimental? Sentimental? I think he said sentimental. Gotta stay hydrated. Oop, just hit my microphone. So, the little tutas or tutus... Uh, these little dudes. Oh, and they don't seem bothered by those, which is good. A battery bulb. Ooh, I think that goes on my gramophone or whatever it is. Oh, sniped. Absolutely sniped out of the sky. I lost my item. Okay, I gotta go back and get it. This place is kind of spooky. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going this direction. Oh boy. I am running out of oxygen. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can I go down here to get oxygen? Oh, I'm getting oxygen just being in the elevator. Okay, good. Did wouldn't want to die. Can I fix it now? Maybe I have to fix it while in the chair. There we go. Nice. Oh, I can play- I can play music. The home theme. Space theme. The Cosmic Cat. Oh, it's like the I Need Space theme. Uh, -uh. We're listening to Cosmo Cat. Literally the best theme of the entire game. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Alright, um, so I guess, uh, ask for a copy of Simone's vinyl. I feel like they're still gonna want a gear for their piano. I'm just not sure where that's gonna be. Maybe it now it will appear? I mean, there are gears floating around in space, but I don't think that's what they're talking about. Alright, now let's talk to Simone. This is rather stressful. Have you seen my piano gear? Um, let's ask about the piano gear. I was careless, you see. I was enjoying a quiet time by myself over here before having a recording session back at the campsite with the boys. We have a recording deadline coming up soon and the water here calms me down. So I was oiling up my piano gears, okay, when unfortunately carelessly lost my grip. One of the gears fell into the shallow water, but for the life of me, I'm unable to see it anymore from here. Ooh, I must have floated downstream to who knows where by now. I dived to get it myself, but that'll cause me to short circuit. Let alone worry about deadline, the boys would have to worry about a dead robot. That's kind of sadistically sad. Where well, they have it, recording is important to me, and I'd love nothing but to get it over as soon as possible away to the boys. Unorthodox GM sessions. <laughs> okay, uh. Alright, well, I'll find your oiled little thing. I thought I looked down here, but I guess not. Is it not here? Oh, there it is. It was in a little cave. I didn't even see that. There we go. Now we got our we got our piano gear. I have. Give the piano gear. My oh my, you found it. Oh, thank, thank you, dearly. Uh, now I can finally do my recording to get on with the deadline over. Thank you, truly. Please meet me back at the campsite. I have something for you. Yes, you better have that vinyl because uh, Zen Boy was really wanting it. I am running out of oxygen. That is not a good sign. There we go. Now they got their full jam session going. Alright, cool. Now they got everybody. 
You're here. Thank you. I'm finally able to finish the recording before the deadline. All right, I'm not going to keep doing it much. Here's a special copy for you. you. Deserve it after helping me out even though we just met. Please accept it. I hope you like it. Thank you. Go with the flow. All right, sweet. So we got the we got the record. Now we can go back and um get that little star thing. In a, in a weird way, uh, Galaxia, there you are. In a weird way, this is very, uh, very strangely accurate to real life. Little Moon Boy meets a cat for the first time because it's crying out for help. And immediately, his entire life is changed and adjusted to where now he has to basically do everything the cat says the cat is hungry so he has to feed it and now he's like flying around the entire galaxy trying to feed the cat because uh cats are hungry it's basically controlling his life so it's realistic oh yeah planet time cooper unknown star travel approaching this is cooper oh this is cooper oh hey sorry i didn't see you there my name is cooper and this is copper <laughs> My trusty partner. We're traveling horticulturists. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm not going to keep doing the robot voice. Well, don't mind us. We're just figuring out a way to revitalize this planet. We're still missing a lot of necessary resources and infrastructure, though. There are no plants or greenhouses anywhere in sight. This is a fruitless endeavor, Cooper. Well, yes, but Copper, there, there, when there's a will, there shall be a way. Indeed, a way to find out... Find a way out of here would be great. Your oxygen level is dangerously low. Ah, come on, I'm fine. I just need to test the soil a bit more. Uh... Ask about his relationship with Cooper? I'm Cooper's guide robot. If you have not already noticed, Cooper has impaired vision. Oh. Bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> he has a very impaired sense of humor, as you can see. Well, not like I can see a doctor about it. <laughs> anyway... Hey, look alive. Laugh a bit, would you? That's kind of funny. I like that. Uh, let's ask about planet, planet revitalization. As you travel through the stars, you will see the most parts of sectors have turned into barren wastelands. The celestial pandemic has made the land infertile. Plants are dying and so are people. Oh, no need to say it like that, little guy. It is the truth. I am simply warning this young traveler in preparation for their future journey. Young? You sound like an old man. And you sound way too carefree for an actual old man. Let me finish my explanation. Uh, so the land is infertile, but it is not like all hope is lost for restoring land to how it was, was before. According to my calculation, we simply need to balance three main atmospheric elements, the water, the soil, and the air. Once the ideal balance is met, plants may start to grow again, thus producing oxygen and eventually revitalizing that particular dying planet. Possibly inventing new alien life to reside there. Well... Copper made it sound so easy, but uh-uh. In reality, there's a near impossible task to simply find the right balance between those three things. I'm The thing that I'm noticing is, um, from when I first played it, they have expanded uh, just the dialogue and just interaction immensely. When I first played it, it was very rudimentary when it came to just communication and stuff like that. Which, I mean, it makes sense because I played it literally 30 minutes after it was released, but now it's been like a year. So it's it's cool to see what they've what they've changed in a year. Uh, but indeed, perhaps not now. We do not possess the right resources and infrastructure just yet. Let's ask about this planet. It's a dying dwarf planet with a very unbalanced atmosphere, void of water and air, with very toxic soil. My analysis shows that all nutrition and resources from the ground have been sucked dry. Whoever used to live here is extremely unsuitable fashion, abandoned it right after using up all of its resources. Uh, certainly the job of a very irresponsible bunch. How awful. Well, I simply provide an objective and analytical insight. I leave the judging up to Cooper. Farewell. St stay safe. So some people really wrecked the planet, unfortunately. And those are like totem ruins there. I don't know how he's staying on this planet for this long because my oxygen is going low, so... Peace out, bros. I gotta go. Whoa! Okay, we are not doing so good right now. There we go, finally we get some oxygen. 
All right, then uh, let's fly. Let's go back to Zen Dude, Hippie Dude. I don't remember his name. But we'll give him Simone's uh, vinyl. That's what he wanted. The music is so good. The music here is kind of creepy for being like a Zen place. <laughs> Galaxia's on his head. Uh, give the vinyl to Rick. Rick, that was his name. Uh, which one... Which one is it? Simone's vinyl, there we go. So you've brought the vinyl, excellent. Let's play it on the gramophone. Hey, gramophone, so yeah, I, you guys were right. This is, I'm over the moon with happiness. Simone truly outdid herself this time with such inspiring melody. This really puts me in the zone, so thank you truly. As promised, the rock star is all yours to keep. You and your little friend earned it. Nice. All right, uh, well, I got it. Galaxia, let's go back to the ship, and I will feed you your little rock stone. Star rock, whatever it's called. Uh, nope, not that. Yes, yes. Little, little cat's gonna take a trip real quick. Blast another black hole into his ex in existence that will just suck everything out. Oh, that's the one back at my home planet. Did this happen in the first game? Oh, mm. Well, so far... Ah. So far, they've it's only sucked up trash, but what's that saying about my home planet now? I said I need space, but that's a lot of space. <laughs> Galaxia, how could you? <laughs> my little dude. Oh wow, that was good. That was a good game. Yeah, so they added they added quite a few bit more. It kind of ended the same way as um as the last demo. So I still don't know why his planet gets sucked away into existence. <laughs> oh yeah, you could you could you could build a lot of things. Can you draw multiple things, I wonder? Oh, I didn't even meet that guy. Actually, I met that guy on the on the first one I did. So I didn't even go to all the plants on this playthrough. <laughs> it's such like a retro... Steam wishlist meow. It, it's... I don't even know how to explain it, but it, it is... If you've played Outer Wilds, it's a lot like Outer Wilds. But instead of everything made of wood, it's made of, like, metal and piping. Super, super good. I got the emotional damage ending. I think that's the same ending I got last time. Coming soon, multiplayer? Oh, now that would be awesome. Play this game multiplayer? Oh, they have to do that. That would be so good. That would be so, so good. Alright, yeah, so, uh, that was, that was I Need Space. Um, oh, it took like an hour to do. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I was thinking about doing some other games. Let me see what I had planned. What time is it? Let me see. Because I didn't want to do a super long stream today, so I think I actually... Hold on, let me just look. Because I do have editing I need to do and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream there. Um, I know I said that I might get to some other games, like I said, to see how well it went, how... how how it went. The first time I played it only took me like 30 minutes, so this took me twice as long. Which, honestly, is kind of cool. It was fun. I mean, it, was, it was a cool experience. And uh, I like all the stuff that they added. I cannot wait for a full version of this, and if they could make it multiplayer, I think that would be absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. So, um, 
I'm gonna be doing more streams like this, more like just random indie games and stuff like that. I'll make- I'm still gonna be making videos of stuff, but just random streams like this are fun to do. Um, but that's basically it. So yeah, thank you all for coming out to watch who were here live. I always appreciate having people watch it with me or, or uh, hang out with me. It's always fun talking with people. And for everyone else that's gonna watch this after the fact, I hope you enjoyed, hope you had a fun time. You can always spread democracy. That wouldn't fit in the theme of this- of this stream, though. Maybe I'll jump on after this, but if I had to do that, it would have to be a different stream. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching, have a good rest of your day, have a good Saturday, have a good weekend. Peace.